Well, we're all going to be getting after it this weekend. Y'all, that's a fat dude. I'm telling you, too high. We're all too it's short. It's upside down. One third. Is it upside down? 140. Yeah. You need to take two more steps. Two more steps. 40 minutes later, the double drop buck is in there. We're back from our elk trip. You know, had a really good time out there in Wyoming with Dad. Um, you know, had several really good encounters with some small bulls and, you know, just the big ones, you know, weren't coming in range. It seemed like the rut was kind of popping off. I think the closest we really got to, you know, a big mature bull was, you know, maybe 89, 90 yards and, um, you know, just couldn't get them in closer. They were with a bunch of cows and, you know, just couldn't call them in. But I had a great time with him. You know, he, I know how much he loves to elk hunt, so really just getting to spend that that week out there with him was, was a lot of fun. And, you know, now we're back in Georgia. The focus has shifted more toward whitetail. Uh, we've had a big deer show up on camera, uh, you know, the last several weeks. And so we're gonna go hang a set uh, where we think kind of this deer may be coming from. It's, it's Thursday right now. We have really good wind, uh, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Um, I'd probably say Sunday and, and Monday are gonna be the best wind as it's showing right now. So we may try to, hold off and not sit in there until you know Sunday afternoon and um, you know hopefully he shows up we have a little bit of a front moving in to Friday night so you know this weekend ought to be ought to be killer so we're gonna go get this stand hung and um, you know, hopefully it'll be a good spot Two nights he's been coming from across the ditch. Like that's been around 8:20 to 8:45. Been after dark, obviously, but he, you you see that's the that's the first I've seen that him coming straight from that way. So we were picking this deer up in the summer, right here in this food plot. It just got planted last week, and then he stopped showing up there for about two or three weeks. And then we started feeding, they're standing corn right here. JJ cut this corner and then maybe within four or five days we picked him up right here, but he was always showing up between 11 o'clock at night, two o'clock in the morning. And then he just disappeared. And then it was like, you know, three or four weeks, the steer just went MIA. So we all just kind of guessed. And it just looks like a lot of really good bedding cover in here. And that's you know where a lot of these deer it seems like they come out of but we had cameras all on this road but we still weren't picking him up so we thought maybe you know there's a chance he's down here like in this bottom somewhere you know just feeding you know kind of before pre-rut um <clears throat> so we put out this camera right here in this bottom a bunch of acorns have been dropping too and uh you know i think within three or four days we picked him up in here Realtree Road Trips is brought to you by Onex Hunt, Synthi, Bushnell, First Products, Baku Bikes, and Hoist. Well, we're all going to be getting after it this weekend. Today is Friday. Me, Brian, Daniel, Tyler's actually coming back in Sunday. We're all out hunting. We're going to try to get some stuff done. It's been a tough two weeks here. Uh, a lot of our bigger deer are nocturnal, so it's gonna be a doe massacre possibly this evening or management deer, trophy, whatever comes out. It's, it's gonna be ugly. That's what we're after right there. If that'll come out in about 10 minutes, we'll be in the ballpark.
We have a deer from last year that showed back up in splits. And he, he shrunk, a, he got a little smaller. Not that, not, not that much. So if he walked in here, he definitely did. Let's get him. Go, Go brave. Braves. Go Braves. I mean, that's even from a doe. <laughs> I still get shaky. She just couldn't resist and came on back in, so I played a little more music with the Hoyt. <laughs> We're really outnumbered this year and got to do a lot of doe management, so this is really, really good for us getting rid of some of these does. 
pits and put the smack down on some nannies. I'm glad somebody come through tonight. Yeah, I'm glad somebody shot because I dang sure didn't shoot. I got blown at for an hour solid. Oh, me. Whew. Fat God. nanny. Please. Yeah, she's a big one. Oh, fat nanny. She is a big one. That's what I'm talking about. God, that's a fat dog. I'm telling you. Wow. She got it going on. She's one of them thick ones. Great personality. Good did, smile. She had a good person. Good smile. Great personality. Just a little on the thick side. Just, yeah, just a little <laughs> thick. A little bit thick. It's short upside down. down. 130. Is it upside down? 140. Yeah. It's at 140. 140. Yep. Well, we had a good night. We got a couple more does knocked oh, down. We got about, I don't know, 70 or 80 more to go between this farm and where Pitts is hunting. So, uh, knocked a couple down. But the, what I'm really excited about is the cool weather coming in. Um, it's going to be in the 50s tonight and Saturday night it's going to drop down in the 40s and then in the 40s again on Sunday night so so we're going to be hunting all weekend hopefully the bucks start moving the Spartan cameras are showing some decent movement starting to pick up some acorns are dropping there's a lot of sign rub scrape so we're going to get after it so good night real tree road trips is brought to you by federal Hoyt primal outdoors monster mill redneck blinds and Team Real Tree Sausage. Day two for Georgia weekend hunt. It's a major weather change. We finally got a little bit of a cold front that came in. It's been in the 70s today. It's pretty windy. We got four of us out here hunting again. Uh, Pitts is at work at the fire station. So she shouldn't be far. There she is. She probably, I don't know, 50, 60 yards. Good nanny down. That's him right there. That deer's been blocking him the whole time, and I was like, sure, certainly it's not him, but I'm gonna see. He look at his head up. So we're watching this Spartan camera and it, it's, it's 
seats. 8.25, climbed down out of the tree at 7.40. It's about what time we got out of there, so 40 minutes later, the double drop buck is in there. Good news is he's not spooked. Capping off a good weekend here in Georgia. It's been a while since we put a video up, but we really wanted to really try to capitalize on this, this cold front. We're really focusing a lot on doe management, but also trying to kill a buck. Tyler's been hunting a big deer, and uh, the only day that he could hunt was this was today for the whole weekend. So. He was sitting there watching the Spartan camera and he came in, I guess, what, about an hour late? Like 40 minutes late. Well, of course, when we're out of town, the deer daylights. You know, we were out in New Mexico and Wyoming last week and, the, you know, this drop time buck daylighted twice. Um, and that's just how it goes. And um, as of now, if the wind says it's going to do what, it, what it's supposed to do out of the west, it's kind of the wind we've been, you know, really waiting on. Um, could be good to go back in there. So we got options and the good news is it's still around. Realtree Road Trips is brought to you by Spartan, Arctic Shield, Backwoods Attraction, Chevy, Franke, Realtree, and Big Rack Spirits.